Why have the Our Gang comedies, known today as the Little Rascals, stood the test of time so well? There aren't many films from the 1930s you could show to kids today with no setup, no historical explanations, and get the kind of response these comedies always do. One reason, of course, is that we like the kids so much, whether we're kids or grown-ups ourselves. Another is that they're always the underdogs and have-nots, and there's something especially satisfying about seeing them come out on top. That's certainly true for three of the films in this video collection. Birthday Blues, like a number of other series entries from the early 30s, has a high degree of sentiment and drama to it, with Dickie feeling the pain of his parents' constant quarreling. And like many other titles of this period, it's a remake of one of the Rascals silent movie shorts. But there's one ingredient that the silent film definitely did not have, an absolutely incredible sound effect for the rubbery cake that Stymie and Dickie cook up. No one who's heard this sound has ever forgotten it. The hard-hearted father in Birthday Blues comes to his senses, but that's more than can be said for the father and son villains in the next two films, For Pete's Sake and The Lucky Corner. What a pair, and who wouldn't want to see them get the worst of it, especially in the first film where they force the gang to part with their beloved dog, Petey. Two much more likable characters make guest appearances in our final film, Arbor Day. They are real-life vaudeville midgets George and Olive Brasno, whom you may remember from the earlier Rascals comedy, Shrimps for a Day. In this same film, Buckwheat's mother is played by Hattie McDaniel, who just three years later would win an Academy Award for her performance in Gone with the Wind. Since we're presenting a film called For Pete's Sake, this is as good a place as any to talk about possibly the most popular member of the gang, Pete the Pup. This remarkable bulldog joined the gang in 1927, with that famous ring already drawn around his eye. He'd been working in another series of comedy films with the Buster Brown character, when his trainer brought him to producer Hal Roach. The liquid dye hadn't worn off around his eye, but that was fine with Mr. Roach. The ring became Pete's trademark, and this talented and lovable canine became as much a part of the series as any of the kids he played with. By 1930, however, there was more than one Pete on the scene. In fact, in the years ahead, a number of different dogs were used as Petey, not all of them absolute dead ringers for the original, but most of them pretty close. Except, of course, for the times the prop men painted the ring on the wrong eye. and like it.
Twenty-two-fifty, oh. lady. C.O.D. Yes, I know. Uh, will you wait a moment? Okay. John, do you know what day this is? Sure, Saturday. Yes, it's Saturday, but what particular day? Just Saturday. You've forgotten again. Just like you did last year. It's my birthday. Your birthday? Oh. Well, what about it? I'm sorry you forgot. It hurts. Good Lord, you're like a kid. You'll be crying for Santa Claus next. It just came. COD. 22.50. Twenty-two fifty, huh? Well, send it back. You mean I can't have it? You heard me. little thing you say to a woman and she starts to bawl. Don't cry, Mama. I understand. I'll get you a birthday present. Listen, Spank, you and me's got to get a birthday present for Ma somehow. Yeah, we have to go out and find a job. That's it. We'll get a job. Yeah, two jobs. Come on. Gee, there's a pip of a dress. Let's get that. Let's get those fur boots for her. Hey, mister, come here. Well, what do you want? Well, that's a late 1922 model. But I'll let you have it for $1.98. $1.98? That's a lot of dough. All I got is 10 cents. No. $1.98. Gee, that's a sweet dress. Oh, boy, let's get that gun. What would she do with the gun? Shoot Papa. Come on. Because Dad won't buy our present. Have you got any money to loan? How much do you want? Dollar ninety-eight. A dollar ninety-eight.
The book says tell you well done. Well, it's getting hot. Separate three eggs and beat them. Everybody's sure going to get a surprise when they get there. Give me two dollars for the whole smith.
you to tell me, who brought all those kids in this house? Nicky. I'll teach that young scalawag a lesson when I get hold of him. Why, he's ruined the place. I'll give him the tanning of his young life. I'll teach him to bring strange kids in. Just a minute, young man. Did you bring those boys in here? Yes, Daddy. I, 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 you. I'll teach you to disobey me. Will you do it again? Will you bring those kids in here again? Will you promise? Will you promise? You promised me, do you? Yes. Yeah. I'll teach you to bring them in here anymore. No, no, no. Will you? You promise not to bring them in? No. What are you doing? I've given this fellow a good thrashing. He brought a gang of kids in here and he's wrecked the place. Look at it. Oh. Dickie, what ever made you do that? I charged the kids so I could make money to buy your birthday present. Here it is. Oh, darling. Oh, that was so sweet of you. Oh, Mother's so thrilled. Oh. Oh. Is it a pick? Oh. John. William. Are you nearly ready, dear? Yes, sir. I'll be there in a moment. Dick, my boy. That was a great lesson you taught me yesterday, one I'll never forget. Ah, oh, that's all right, Pop. Well, how do I look? Gee, Mommy, you look like an angel on Sunday, Mom. Oh. You look beautiful, dear. But you're not going to wear that dress to church. Yes. Gee, you look swell, Ma. I feel swell, Dickie. Mom gave me that hat for 15 cents. Give me those shoes for nothing. 
from the window. Well, I'll soon put a stop to that. 
office. Run away, it's not window. Go on out, run away, run away. Hey, mister, how much is that doll worth? It's worth a lot of money. Go on out, go on, go on away. But how much does it cost? It costs a dollar and twenty-five cents. Go on out, run along, run along now, run along. Hey, Pa, how about trading the doll for the dog? What will we do with a dog? Well, we can make a good watchdog. Son, you want that doll? Oh, sure. I'll trade you that doll for your dog. Say, I wouldn't trade that dog for your whole darn store. Well, you don't want the doll very bad. Go on out. Run along now. You've taken up my time. Go on out. Yeah, that's what I say. Go ahead and feed it. Come on, fellas. We'll get the money someplace. Well, I'll be seeing you. This is a fine how do you do. My only day off and you have to run away and leave me to do the house cleaning. Oh, Fred, stop complaining. Well, why couldn't we hire it done? You can get a man cheap. There you go, always wanting to spend money. Yes, but you're going shopping. Well, I'm going to save money. Yes, I've heard that before. Well, anyway, see that you have it done when I get back. All right, all right, Fred. Here's our chance to earn the money. Come on, Stiney. Say, mister, could we do that work for you? We're the best club beers in town. And we can do it practically cheap. How much do you want? Will ten cents be too much? <laughs> well, I tell you what I'll do, boys. I'll give you all ten cents apiece. Oh, why? Come on, Dad! Yeah. Oh well, it's all right, boys. There's the rug and there's the lawnmower. But see you do it good.
I see what you done. You ruined that swell rug. Oh, that can happen to anybody. Now what? Maybe we all can fix it. Well, how? Can we glue it back on? That's a good idea. I'll get the glue. My rug! Get out of here! Get out! Go on! Get out! All of you! Get out! Get out! You two! Get out of here! Get out! Get out! I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll trade you that doll for your doll. You're getting the best of the bargain. There you are, son. Come on, Buck. I'll back up the doll. Come on, Buck. Come on. Come on. Hey, that's no way to treat him. Well, he's my dog now, isn't he? There you are. I'll run along now. Run along. No matter what happens, Pete. It's still our dog. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, Wally. What do you want? She's at it again. This is getting my mopping. You all sure in a lot of trouble. Those kids! Hey, you kids! Wait a minute! Here, give me back that doll. What for? For the damage he done in there. And you gotta give us our dog back. Not until you pay for the bases you broke. And they cost exactly three dollars. He can't do that. Well, he did it. Oh, he's ruining my 
right store. Not our dog now. It belongs to you. <laughs> well, call him out. I'll do anything. I'll give him back to you. Well, go and get that dog. You'll give us that dog. And you're getting the best of our bargain. All right, get him out. Change it now. The store's closing. How is your big show coming on? We had to stop rushing. The actors got thirsty. You know how it is. Yes, even actors have to eat. Your heads. 
I'm sorry, Gus, but you got to move off of this corner. Why, what's the matter? Well, the new owner over there seems to think you're taking all his trade away from him. You mean we got to find a new place? Yeah. I'm sorry, Gus, but there's nothing I can do about it. Come on out, Malcolm. Thank you, my hand. you in time. <laughs> Say, what's all this your trouble about? Oh, I got old miser running run this off at the corner up there. Say, listen, you just move in right here with me. You don't mean to say that yes, I... Yes, there's room enough for the both. Oh, fine. Come on, children. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're going to do here? You won't sell no lemonade in this hole. Why not? Because no one ever comes down this way. Oh, no. No. Come on, guys. We're leaving. Where are you going? You'll find out. Come on out, Papa. Come on, Buck. We...
Mikey, do you think you'll hold the crowd first? Buckwheat, run down the corner and get a lemon. Hurry up, hurry up. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Say, uh, Frankie, uh, we can't make any more lemonade. Why not? Well, we haven't any more sugar. Joe, uh, can you get some sugar for us? Yes, sir, we get some. Buckley, come here, honey. You run upstairs and get some sugar. It's on the table in a bag. Now hurry. Shall we open up? Sure! Oh, right away. Fine. Ice cola! Yay! 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 You have some? I don't mind. I might as well. Ice cola lemonade! Uh, let's have two. You'll like this lemonade, lady. What? Why, it's gone. Are you sure? Why, look, it's empty. Sorry, we have no more lemonade. Why? 
mind. There's nothing wrong with it. I want my money back. But you can't get your money back. You already drank it. I demand my money back. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Case plan. What are you trying to do, poison me? No, but he is. Oh, so you're poisoning people, huh? Now, give me a lemonade. Hey, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. No, why not? Let them have it. Right. <laughs> now do I get my money back. But my dear man, I... I'm a taxpayer and I demand my rights. Yes, sir, he's a taxpayer and demands his rights. Now, come on, give him his money. Well, I guess we didn't do so good. Say, what's the big idea of doping that lemonade? What lemonade? Oh, uh, you know all right. Why don't you leave us alone? We ain't bothering you. Oh, no. Well, Barbara, no, we're not. Wait a minute. What? Oh, sure. I'm going to fill this thing once and for all. Here, Alpha, take care of this. Hey, don't you think you've caused enough of trouble around here? Oh, 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 oh. Why did you? Well, that's a well. Well, see, he'll have something on his hands. Well, we're taxpayers and we demand our rights. And you're going to get them all right. Hey, what are you trying to do? <laughs> alumni of the Green Street Grammar School. The ancient ceremony of planting a tree on Arbor Day is one of deep spiritual significance. <laughs> <clears throat> it has been customary with us to uh, bedeck an otherwise drab and colorless procedure with the gaudy trappings of pageantry. to catch you, do ya? He won't unless you hang around. Swim where I am. Spanky, you don't want to play hooky today, because the big show starts at 2 o'clock. Yes, I know that. 
Thank you, Stan. I'm a sad like a little man. I'm a chopper with his axe. Chops, 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 chops. I'm not going to school. Hey, Spanky, wait a minute. But, Spanky, I think it's going to be a swell show. I don't. Spanky, don't you even like my part where I say, Behold, a little woodsman child loves to roam in forest wow. Miss Lawrence says I put it in my whole soul. Sure you do. You know, I'm just hardly waiting to get my part. But Spanky, this isn't the way to school. Yes, but can't we take a little walk around the block to get a little exercise? Sure. So, you boys want a little exercise, eh? Oh, hello, Mr. Smith. It's a nice day. Yes, but don't you think it'd be just as well if you boys would take your exercise in the direction of the school? Sure, that'd be fine, Mr. Smithers. You know, you never think of us playing hooky from you. No, no. Mr. Smithers, you're going to see our show, aren't you? Yes, I'll... I hope it's good, Mr. Smithers. Well, can you go now? A dime, ten cents. We'll take you all the way through. A dime, ten cents. Here we go. On to the inside. Never never Say that dearest little thing. <laughs> I wonder if... Yes, we're really grown-ups. Our parents were as small as we are, and our grandparents were even smaller. Yes, and I don't want to be kissed. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you mean giving a free performance on the inside? Ladies and gentlemen, this is just a sample of what the little folks do on the inside. It's for a dime in there. A dime, ten cents. A dime, ten cents. <laughs> What do you mean by giving a free show out there on the street? If they want to see it, let them spend a dime for it. Listen, we haven't been out of this duck for two weeks, and I want some fresh air. Yes, and I'm running out of cigars. Well, that's my department. I'll take care of that. I'm going to lose my temper and pop him one. And leave me a widow? Oh, no, you don't. I'll dry up. You're acting like a child. Send a detective after us, do you? Certainly. Pipe over my shoulder. Look, don't pay any attention to me. Act like a kid and chase me. Hey. I'll get you! I'll get you! <laughs> hey, you kids. How old are you? 24 to 6. I mean, 6 to 24. That's what I thought. Trying to play hooky, huh? On your way, Flatfoot. Come on, to school. What oh. school? We don't belong to any school. We gotta do a show in 20 minutes. And you're just in time. Uh -oh. Ouch! Come on, Let us to school. Go to school. Go to school. And so the great Pericles himself proclaimed a day of thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, a day of thanksgiving to be called Simocopulus Caribellus. Otherwise, Arbor Day. And so, now, on this Arbor Day, centuries after the ancient Greek period, we will perpetuate this ceremony of tree planting.
spade, the hole is made. Now, dear friends, this concludes the tree planting ceremony for Arbor Day. I found it. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Now, now, children, children, sit over there and be quiet. I've been trying to tell this fellow that... I'll talk to you after the program is over. Go on, sit down. Go ahead, go ahead. If I was two inches taller, I'd knock your block off. Ceremony is over. We come to the treat of the afternoon, an Arbor Day pageant written especially for this occasion by our beloved teacher, Miss Argyle. <laughs> this lovely music will be played for us by our Miss Lawrence and the Green Street Grammar School Orchestra. <laughs> and if I may be permitted to be facetious, on with the dance. Let joy be unconfined. <laughs>
and heck all I please. No. Yes. No. Yes. You're supposed to say why not. Why not? Because music. Come right up here on the platform. <laughs> Dear friends, these two darling little children would like to perform a little number for us. Now, I think it's going to be very nice, don't you? <laughs> We'd like to dedicate this number to the kind gentleman that brought us here. Well, now, isn't that sweet? Of course you may, of course. Now, come in, come in. Should we sing a song about the trees on the rubber day? Should we sing a song about the trees that probably sway? Should we be so simple and the sweetest story tell? No, we yell. What's that to tell? We carry them, we carry them, we You are, are you? Look, school's over. You said it. I've been looking all over town for you. Are you the father of these Vodio Dodos? Me, the father? Why, they're a couple of midgets from my sideshow. Why, they missed the last performance, and they're due back on the stage in five minutes. Come on, here. Come over and see a good show sometime. Bye, Sherlock. Mr. Smithers, you're fired. 